Hello and welcome to another Ice Thought for the Week video where we think through some of the big issues in our world today. My name is Karen and I'm part of the Ice team and today we want to think a little bit about joy. So it's not really a word we use a lot, we more often describe it maybe as a feeling of happiness um, or we say we feel happy today. Um, it's not really like we don't really say I'm feeling very joyful today, aren't you? Like it's not really something we say a lot. When you look into the words, actually, you would think, okay, it's probably kind of the same thing, it's kind of the same emotion that we're feeling. But actually, when you look into the words, you'll find that happiness is more of a thing that we use to describe like a feeling that we have in a certain moment, a feeling that might be attached to like a circumstance that we're in, an experience that we had um, that made us happy or a person that makes us happy. Joy, on the other hand, is so much deeper, so it goes past the current situation that we're in and it looks ahead and um, we can see, okay, what will come after this? How can we be joyful even though we're stuck in this situation and we can't do all the things we'd like to do that make us happy and that we know would make us happy? So um, joy, however, like rather being based on things, it's constant and it doesn't depend on what our physical emotion is like because it is our mind telling us what to feel. So we can, I believe, we can choose to be joyful or to have joy even in the midst of difficult circumstances. And we as Christians believe that um, joy is something that God wants to give us too because he knows it's good for us physically, mentally and emotionally. And it's something that can be constant because um, as Christians we believe that we can rejoice in trusting in God, knowing that he's got a good future for us in store and he'll be with us through the difficult circumstances. But no matter what you put your trust and your joy in, um, what you base your joy on, what gives you joy, um, make sure you remind yourself of that in these difficult circumstances. And maybe think through these questions. What do you find joy in, especially in this time? What are things that steal your joy and what are things you could put in place to prevent that? So maybe people you could call or um, reminders you could write yourself. And also, how can you share joy with others around you? If you still haven't had enough, you could also check out one of my favourite songs, um, which has the title Joy, and it's by a band called For King and Country. So have a listen and let us know in the comments what you think and also uh, your answers to the questions. See you in the next video. Bye!